So what is the CPU? Well, the CPU is made up of three main components. These three are the ALU, the control unit, and the memory unit. If you think about it, it's kind of like me, Charlie, and Tom. The CPU, or Central Processing Unit, is responsible for executing a program, or a sequence of instructions. It is usually called the brain of the computer, however do not write this as a definition in the exam, as it will score you no marks. The correct definition would be, the Central Processing Unit fetches, decodes and executes instructions, and has a set clock speed which tells us how many fetch execute cycles it completes per second. For example, 3 GHz equals 3 billion calculations per second. The ALU, or Arithmetic Logic Unit in the CPU, carries out all the arithmetic instructions and calculations. It also carries out logical instructions and decisions, and acts as the gateway to the processor. The ALU does exactly what its name suggests, however don't get it mixed up with the accumulator, just because it begins with an A. They are linked however, we will move on to that later. The graphics interchange format, or GIF, that is used to represent the ALU is of Ted Loveday, who helped his team win a university challenge by answering this difficult question. Right, ten points for this. Meaning said only once. What two-word Greek term denotes a word? Peace Loveday. Hapax Legonomenon. Correct. <laughs> The control unit, as the name suggests, controls many aspects of the CPU. It manages the execution of instructions by using control signals, it synchronizes actions using the input clock, and it controls the fetch to code execute cycle itself. An easy way to remember what the control unit does is to think of it like Shia LaBeouf. Just do it! So you may be wondering, how is Shia LaBeouf the control unit? Well. He manages the execution of his motivational instructions by using these arm movements, i.e. the control signals. He also synchronizes his actions by using his inbuilt clock, which he's pointed to right now. Finally, he controls the way in which he expresses his instructions, and this is equivalent to the CPU and the control unit controlling the fetch to code execute cycle. The only difference between him and the control unit the control unit isn't a complete psychopath. The last out of the three is the memory unit. With each of these units, their names tell you a large part of their responsibility. The memory unit stores the operating system data, i.e. what's currently in use. It acts as a conduit or channel through which all inputs and outputs to the computer are done. And similar to what we mentioned before, it stores the operating system software that's currently being used. This MLG frog gear has been used as it hurts your eyes and mind. Mind equals memory, memory equals memory unit, memory unit equals... There are five types of registers. The current instruction register, the accumulator, the memory address register, the memory data register, and the program counter. Firstly is the program counter. This contains the address of the next instruction to be carried out. It also controls the sequence in which the instructions are received. Every time an instruction is fetched, the program counter increases by one. And then Charlie's put a gif of Dwayne dancing here to represent the program counter, but I don't, I don't know why. Next is the memory address register. This contains the address of the next location to be accessed in the memory. This may be the address of the next instruction to be used. Uh, let's, let's see what Charlie's put here. This can be represented by using flashback dog, as its flashbacks or memories represent memory as it's stored in the MAR. Okay, whatever you say, Charlie. Next is the memory data register, or MDR. This contains the contents of the address specified in the memory address register. The contents may be an instruction, data to be used with an instruction, or data to be copied. This can be represented by using flashback cat, as in flashbacks or memory. Okay, this is just the same reasoning as before. And he said, okay, it's the same as the last one, but really, who cares? Not me, that's for sure. Oh, Charlie. Okay, Charlie. Charlie! Second to last, we have the accumulator. This holds data that is going to be, slash, is currently being processed. 
the results of the current instruction register are stored here. The data that is stored here is usually arithmetic and logic results, hence the link that was mentioned between the accumulator and the ALU before. This can be represented by using this skeleton, as it's laughing at how easy it is to press data. Okay, okay, what? That, that, Charlie, you, you, you're reaching so far here that that literally makes no sense. Next, we have the current instruction register, and the last one, finally. This holds the instruction whilst it's been decoded. It only takes instructions from the MDR and no data. And then, has he put anything else? Nope. Uh, he's just left me with that GIF. Why, why is Follow Your Dreams the current instruction register? Alright, I, I don't know an explanation for this, so here's some more of Charlie's YouTube channel. <laughs>